uh, okay so i remember i had told you guys i would uh, make a video on ternary operators and postfix prefix operators those sums and stuff but i got really caught up with my school work and stuff and well there was new years and merry christmas and all that so by the way happy chris merry christmas to all my viewers and a very happy new year i'm really sorry i got so late with these videos but i am sh i assure you i'll become a bit more regular and upload like let's say 10 15 more videos in the next two weeks hopefully so um let me just get into ternary operators it's very simple they're also called conditional operators because they check for a certain condition between two well two operands i spoke about that in the last video okay so let's say i have int a equals 4 b equals 5 c equals no just c c doesn't equal anything as of now now let's say i i want to check whether a is greater than b and if a is greater than b then c will be equal to a so i can write c equal to a greater than b sorry a greater than b question mark a colon b so this is the true value and i'll explain all of this and this is the false value now what this program essentially checks for is it checks if a is greater than b is a greater than b that that's what it checks if a is greater than b then it stores the value of a in c otherwise it stores the value of b in c and instead of b and a b and stuff you can have any random values let's say i write c equals a greater than 5 question mark a colon 6 so if a is greater than 5 it will store a in c or it will store 6 in c so in this case a is not greater than 5 so it will store 6 in c now one last question i want to get into this is a very important a confusing sort of a question let me change the value of b to let's say b equals instead of 5 let's just say b equals mm let me think let's say b equals 4 so now b and a have the same value right okay so i write c equals a greater than equal to b question mark b colon a in this case it will check if a is greater than or equal to b so in this case a is equal to b so this after the question mark is the true value after the colon is the false value so it will store the value of b which is also the value of a in c now let's say i uh, change this from b and a to 7 and 51 So in this case, it would store the value seven if a is greater than or equal to b. Otherwise, it would store the value of fifty-one in the variable c. Okay. Now, um, the last one I'll go into is let's say c equals b less than four question mark four colon b. So if b is less than four, then store the value of four. If b is not less than four, then store the value of b. So this is pretty easy. You can try it out if you want. Now I'm I'm going to move into well sums on postfix and prefix operators. I had spoken about this I know last time. So I'm just going to get into it in a bit more detail. Let's say you have 
let's use these values and for a moment just forget about this ternary step c equals a plus 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 b plus okay let me do this in a different color a plus 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 b plus a okay so what's the value of a initially it's 4 since it's a postfix operator it will change the value after using 4 so c is equal to 4 right now the value of c is 4 plus 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 b what's b b is in this case b is given as 4 out here so plus plus b it will change it first so it will become 4 plus 6 10 plus a now a has become 4 plus plus so a becomes 5 so plus 5 so in this question the answer will be 4 plus 6 plus 5 that's 15 so c will be equal to 15 okay the last sum i'll give you on this c equals plus plus a plus 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 b minus a minus b so what should be equal to a is 4 plus plus a a becomes 5 plus plus b b is 5 plus plus b is 6 so 5 plus 6 is 11 that's 11 now 11 minus a the value of a is 5 11 minus 5 that's 6 6 minus b the value of b is 6 6 minus 6 that's 0 so this will evaluate to 0 so i hope this video helped you guys i know it took a long time to come but I, I really hope it helped you and I'm sure I could make many more of these videos this new year so that you guys can well do well in Java and your exams and stuff so that's it for this video peace